How's it going guys? This is Joshua from Motiva Online Instructors. Today we're going to find the midpoint formula, which looks like this. The midpoint of, of, of two points equals x1 plus x2 uh, divided by 2, comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And I'm going to be explaining in details what this means. We, to derive this formula, first we have to go to some geometry. Now, the transversal postulate in geometry says that two lines are parallel if and only if the two angles of any pair of corresponding angles of any transversal are congruent. And this is an if and only if statement, but we only need the one which says that if two angles are congruent, then the two, I mean, if two lines are parallel, then the two angles are congruent. And the two angles that we're talking about are these two. This one and this one. Okay? And this one and this one. And again, this one and, the, and all of the uh, corresponding pairs. Okay? We're going to need this to prove our midpoint formula. Now let's start with this diagram. Here we have x1, xm, x2, y1, ym, and y2. And the m here stands for mid <clears throat> midpoint. So this point is the midpoint between these this line segment. And I'm going to uh, draw two triangles in that line segment. Okay. Now, I'm going to prove to you that these two triangles are congruent. Okay, let's start with the postulate. The postulate says that if there's two parallel lines, look at these two, these two blue lines, they're parallel, then the corresponding angles are parallel. Okay, so we're talking about these two angles. By the postulate, we know that these are congruent. Now, if we draw it in the opposite, in the 90 degrees di uh, direction, we have these three parallel lines that means that these angles are congruent by the postulate, okay? So that means by the angle side angle postulate, we have that these two triangles are congruent, right? Because by definition, the midpoint cuts the segment in two equal halves. So this, this side is congruent to this side. This angle is congruent to this angle, and this angle is congruent to this other angle. Okay, so what does that mean in terms of algebraically? So we have here this point is what? This point is xm, comma, y1. And this point here is x2 comma y m okay since these triangles are congruent we already show that this means that the length here is equal to this length over here okay so that means that x, uh, xm minus x1 is equal to the length of the other triangle which is x2 minus xm okay now what does that say this implies that we pass the xm to the other side and the x1 to the other side we have 2xm equal to x2 plus x1 but that implies that xm is equal Two x two plus x one divided by two. Now let's do the same for y. Since these triangles are congruent, this means that this distance from y m to y one is congruent to y two to y m. So let's write that down. It means y m minus y one equals y two minus y m now doing the same algebraic uh, manipulation we have that 2y m 
equals y2 plus y1 which implies that ym equals y2 plus y1 divided by 2 and hit and hence the proof now notice that the proof was easy but to be able to identify this we needed to prove that these two triangles were congruent so thanks again for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh, episode